Chaos Control! Hi! Today I will explain how I created this scene. After this video, you will also be able to create your own islands. First, let's divide our scene into layers. We will place the islands and the objects that will be our focal points. Then we will detail and enrich our scene. In the texture section, we will create our materials. Finally, we will complete our scene with the animation section. Lately, I've been a bit sick so my voice sounds a bit strange. I apologize in advance. Let's go. First, we will use the landscape add-on inside Blender to create the floating islands. We will lower the height settings to negative values create the bottom part of the islands. I used the boolean modifier to flatten the top part. Duplicate with Shift D and then scale in the negative direction on the Z axis. After adding the camera to the scene, select orthographic from the camera settings. I am duplicating the islands, create our scene. To create the cloud, add a cube to the scene and roughly shape it as desired. Go to geometry nodes panel and add these nodes. I am adding subdivision surface and displace modifier. Add cloud texture and adjust the size of the modifier. After adding a new material to the cloud, I deleted the principal BSDF and added principal volume. You can adjust the density setting as you like. After downloading the Goku model from the internet, I post the character. After adjusting positions of the objects, I added a background image to the scene. I added a sky texture here. You can also use an HDRI if you prefer. I am adjusting to the sky texture settings to resemble an evening atmosphere. After adding a cube to create light beams, I am changing the cube's material to principal volume. I'm adding the rock material I downloaded from the internet to the island. After activating this place, I am adding these materials to the other islands as well. I will use the particle system to add the grass. After selecting here, I am adjusting the number and length of the grass. I am applying same steps for the other islands. I am adding a simple grass image as the material. I used the Blender Kit add-on to add a butterfly model to the scene. I added keyframes while in pose mode to create the flying animation. To add the butterfly animation, we will again use the particle system. 
After adding a cube to the scene as the emitter for the butterflies, I added a new particle system. I added an empty that the butterflies will target. We will extend the lifespan of the butterflies by adjusting the lifetime settings. It's time to bake the butterfly animation. Nice! Now it's time for the butterfly animation. After adding a plane, I created the shape of the butterfly. I added the subdivision surface and solidify modifier. We will use weight paint to control where the grass should not appear in the some areas. I am going to the density section of the grass particle system settings and selecting the grow. I added a displace modifier to the waterfall and applied a cloud texture. After changing the Displace Modifier's coordinate settings to Objects, I am linking it to an Empty. This way, the position of the Displace will change according to the Empty's position. I would have liked to use the Fluid Simulator, but due to the possibility of the my computer's limits, I used the Fake Fluid technique. After adding the texture, I copied and added the waterfall to the other island as well. I am adding turbulence to the scene to create width animation for the grass. When we add animation to turbulence, the grass will move accordingly. I added flower models to add color to the scene. I will use the simple deform modifier to add a swaying animation to the flowers. After selecting all the flowers, I applied the modifier and animation data to all of them. Finally, I added an empty for the camera's focal point and linked the camera to it. I added camera animation. I added animation for the Cloud and Goku as well. Small adjustments and, and final scene.